this part is about what I learned about how steroids work. All right, I have a lot of friends who were who are bodybuilders, uh, wrestlers, and powerlifters, and and doctors. So I became pretty obsessed with how a, a syringe of liquid or little pills could make somebody huge, like walk around at 275, 300 pounds from a little bit of liquid. And what I learned after reading up and asking questions, a lot of professionals, is that one reason why steroids worked is because of its anti-catabolic properties, which means steroids block cortisol, which is something that robbed muscle. Basically, it would take muscle and feed the body with that. It's, you know, it would eat up the muscle tissue. Um, but what steroids did was block that cortisol. All right, what happens is that your body and your muscles began to want, it, it allowed the muscles to build itself the way it wanted to. And when I learned this, okay, that the anti-catabolic properties kept the muscle growing and that steroid thing was stopping the process of the muscle being eaten up, I learned that if you had a positive amino acid balance, that means the protein to feed the muscles to fight the catabolic uh, effect, that that muscle can, can continue to build. That's what the deal is with all the protein stuff. Yeah, bodybuilders are going to a hum you know humongous like rate of it, but. One of, the, one of the things was, if I kept feeding my muscle, it's, it's kind of like this. It's, it works just like this, like a bank account. You never know when somebody's going to cash the check. So having a positive account of protein, it's called a positive amino acid pool, in your body at all times means that when your body tries to replenish from the workout that you've damaged of the muscle and wants to rebuild, that check can be cashed any time. At 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 p.m., any time. So you have to have a positive balance in your body so it can replenish it, right? The Learning how the steroids worked in that situation taught me that basically what the steroids did was stop the collectors, the bill collectors, from coming and getting that muscle. Well, if it works for guys 300 pounds, all right, uh, as far as, well, I mean, I never wanted to be, you know, that big, it could work for everybody if you had a positive amino acid pool. We don't have to we're not going to extremes like them. So for a smaller person, you, you, you can find exactly how much your body can build naturally. I found that I could get to about 230, uh, 230 pounds before, um, before I would start to lose, uh, lose my hardness, right? I'd be already kind of soft at 230, but anywhere from 230 up to 240, uh, then I would lose in quality. And, and if for, for me to get over 230 with quality muscle, I would have had to have taken something that I wasn't willing to take. Besides, I already was too damn big for, for martial arts. At 230, I mean, everything starts to become a detriment above that weight for me also as an actor so I was already as an actor kind of too big for a lot of roles so my sweet spot has always been right right where I am now about two between 215 and 220 uh, and even when I get down lower 
I get more lean. But as I mentioned, that makes me more susceptible to getting sick. A lot of people uh, get confused and they think just because they can see muscles that you're on some kind of steroid. That's, that's far from the truth. Again, I'm just revealing what's underneath. If I was big and smooth, you wouldn't say anything about some kind of steroid type of thing. See, another thing people get confused about, they say, oh, well, they, they think I look similar to a bodybuilder. I am a hundred pounds shy of <laughs> the weight I would need to be if I was a bodybuilder. When I say a hundred pounds, I'm serious. I'm six one and a half. Any bodybuilder who goes on stage would have to be about around 330 pounds in their off season and step on stage about 290 at my, my weight. I'm a hundred and I'm 215, 220. I, I'm fluctuating between there. That's how much off I am from being a bodybuilder. That's, that's, it's very deceiving to people because they see muscle and they just think, oh, you're, you're lifting weights a lot. I don't. I don't even do any stomach workout. I don't, because it's just there. I mean, I've done martial arts my whole life, but I'm not sitting around doing a lot of sit-ups or anything. Uh, a lot of people think that you do sit-ups to, to shrink your waist. It's not true. You can swell your waist doing sit-ups. I will do, sometimes I'll do contracting motions that, you know, uh, reduce the waist. But I don't even, when I, I do those when I think about them. I don't. I, I'm really uh, uh, kind of a nerd in certain cases. Never been drunk, never been high. Uh, on Universal Soldier, The Return, probably was uh, my leanest. I, I, I was about 208 during Universal Soldier, uh, 208, 210 in some days. And, um, but actually I paid the price. I was, I was on a really unique diet. It was a 70% fat diet. I'll talk about that at some other time. But what I did was trick my body into losing all of its body fat. But it got me down to 3% and I got very, very sick. I caught the flu. And um, at the end of the uh, shooting, I had to be rushed to the hospital where the doctor gave me a shot. And I asked him after, well, what was that? He said, it was a steroid. And I said, oh no, <laughs> I've, I've gone my whole, my whole life without a steroid and now you, you shot me with one. He said, calm down. He, he started to explain to me that there are over 100 type of steroids. And do you know that vitamin D is a steroid? Even asthma medicine, uh, birth control, these are all different types of steroids. I didn't know that. There's a lot, cortical steroids, there's a lot of these different types of things. So as soon as I heard the word steroid, I freaked out. And a lot of people freak out because they think they all are the same. They're, they, they make you huge and all that type of stuff. And mind you, if someone is of, of you know, older age, some of my age or older, and their, their body is not regenerating anymore, um, I wouldn't hold that against anybody to, to supplement with uh, testosterone stuff because it just makes sense. Something goes wrong with your eyes, you get eyeglasses, you don't just accept it. But right now, hey, I, you know, I luckily don't have to, I've never had a, a, a situation where I had to build muscle. I'm like a lot of people who, if I wasn't in this, this line of work, I'd probably be walking around at 250 maybe with about 25% body fat like a lot of us are. But what we, what we do is just like a fighter, you just you work and trim down from the, the body fat. You just take the body fat off. But the trick is how to keep the muscle, right? Like I mentioned before, positive amino acid balance protein, keeping that in, that's why you always hear about protein, protein, protein. That's why there's three, you know, the, the meals three hours separate that keeps the protein going is that positive bank account that 
replenishes your muscles during exercise.